challenges. I'm gonna split this sausage right in half. <laughs> now that there is some sausage. <laughs> Wow, check that out. Would you look at that? You like sausage? Oh, so have a new one. Hyper Rager 3 just resubscribed yeah? for three months. You like that? Have a fun stream. That's good content. <laughs> Name name that scene. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know. <laughs> My birthday, thanks for the three months. I appreciate you. <laughs> So I just finished Ozark last night, finally. Loved the ending. That's all I'll say. I thought it was I thought it was a, the perfect ending. I actually really enjoyed it. Hey Dream, because it, it takes work. Sleep is supposed to be relaxing. I lay down in bed, it feels great, and next thing you know I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. Yes, exactly. It's like I'm I'm doing stuff all night. And it's exhausting. Like I wake up more tired than I went to bed because I was doing shit all night long. Like last night I was like in an alien jungle trying to catch a train. And things were trying to murder me in the alien jungle. Like, that's fucked up, man. Mitch Hedberg had some good jokes. He was funny. Like Avatar, minus the train. I mean, there weren't any avatars there, but maybe. Dexter was there and he had to be carried because the jungle was too thick. And his little legs couldn't keep up. Can never have a broken escalator. <laughs> I used to do drugs. I still do. But I used to, too. <laughs> uh, Sierra's driving down to um, meet up with her partner, who's in Yosemite right now. So she wanted to do a, a road trip. And I told her I would do the down the Oregon coast with her. Um do a section of her road trip with her and then we decided that well and then she was like okay perfect I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to the section of the redwoods that we didn't get to go to last time and I was like I want to come and she's like okay come and I was like wait really and she's like yeah <laughs> just come and I was like okay <laughs> sounds good <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, another one! Signet! Signet just resubscribed for 23 months. Party popper. Oh, yeah, party popper, 23 months. Just come. Okay. <laughs> if you insist. If you insist, ma'am, I will. I will absolutely come. Thank you. 
right? It's like sometimes all you gotta do is just invite me and then I'm there. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like that's a trait I get from my parents. <laughs> I got veggies. So yeah, I never see you in my hot tub. Weird. How bizarre. <laughs> How bizarre. I mean, don't like, don't stop inviting me. <laughs> Cause you never know. Someday I may show up. Someday I may just show up. Man, it is pouring down rain. This is crazy. It's June. It's June! Excuse me? I have a great need of things, and those things are Old Bay. Are both of these things of Old Bay open? Are we taking bets on, this one is definitely open. Are we taking bets on whether this one is open as well? I seem to have two things of Old Bay seasoning. You bet they both are, both are you bet no. This one is open. <laughs> and this one is open. <laughs> Why are they both open? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. What do I win? You win a round of applause. Solving the sriracha shortage. Wait, is there a sriracha shortage crisis? Because I'm going to need to go to the store real fast. Just saying. Nice. <laughs> nice candy booty. Oh, you like my, my shorts, my TikTok shorts? Two of the papers they used did not show up this year. Oh no. Oh no! This is not good. I love sriracha. Would you consider Old Spice to be Cajun seasoning? Or Old Spice, Old Bay to be Cajun seasoning? Don't answer that first question. Old Spice is deodorant, so yes. <laughs> I said don't answer that first question. Zesty armpits. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds and looks Cajun. I I feel like I would consider it Cajun seasoning. Except that it doesn't have spice to it. Old spice seasoning used to spice my chicken. <laughs> Old spice. In Maryland? I don't know. Born in Chesapeake Bay.
an Old Spice copyright suit. Mmm, <laughs> Old Spice. Old Bay, a blend of 18 spices with Venton, German refugee Gustav Brun, who came to Maryland. The spice was named after a ship line of the Chesapeake Bay and quickly grew very popular later during the 20th century. So is it Cajun? That doesn't answer my question. So this recipe says use Cajun seasoning and then it says that they use the Louisiana fish fry. Which I feel like Old Bay is like what you use for like crabs and shrimp. So I don't really know. I don't know. I do have a little bit of Cody's Cajun seasoning left. I can use some of that, but it's really spicy. Bourbon technically only comes from Kentucky. Mm. This is, this is all that I have left of Cody's seasoning. The spices. And this smoked sausage smells good. I feel like I should have done this, the sausage first. Because I want it to like brown, you know? You know what I mean? I don't think it's gonna brown, guys. Old Bay is all you have on hand. Try using one teaspoon of it in place of one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Okay, interesting. So it can be used, but it's not like the go-to. You see, I might have... No, I have blackening spice. to work. It's going to have to work. I think it'll be good. I might have to add some spice. Yeah, I was going to do like half and half Cody's and half and half Old Bay. Then it wants me to add a bunch of other seasonings, so I figure it doesn't actually matter that much. You know? Sausages. My sausages. Can't brown my sausages. Omega, how are you? My sausages. <laughs> um, I need chicken broth too. 
some chimkin broth. Time to eat some chimkins. You're lurking. Okay, I won't disturb your lurk then. Give it a high. Hey, how you doing? Which means I need some logins. Sixty degrees and raining. Why? Why can't we just get summer? I say, but I was talking to my dad today and it was like a hundred and six where he's at. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I should just like make make a seasoning blend and like bottle it up, have it ready to go. It's 95 there. We, the problem is, is like we haven't really had any like any real length of good weather this summer yet. Like spring just will not release its clutches. No, it doesn't look complicated and it's not. I've been spoiled because Cody, Chef Cody made me his blend and I've been using that but it's really spicy, so I, I only use like a little bit of it. I'm suddenly selling for like five days, now it's solidly spring. Yeah, it's like, the problem is, is that it's been really nice on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then really shitty like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's like, excuse me? <laughs> Can we get like the weekend to be nice and then it can be whatever weather you want on the weekdays, I guess. No, is that too much to ask? <laughs> ask me, Mr. Weatherman, Mother Earth. Please. It's being north of Jester right now in the atmospheric river that's bringing rain to Portland and Seattle. But then like, why is it really nice during the weekdays and then really shitty on the weekends? Why? Why is this happening? Like, why do bad things happen to good people? That's all I want to know. <laughs> I'm feeling very much attacked personally by this weather. Personally victimized by this weather, okay? Is that onion, garlic, onions and garlic? Let's go see what happens. Some jumbos, yeah. Some jumbos. Is your nose doing better now that it's pouring down rain? All the allergens have disappeared. <laughs> Wait, can you bring me a Tylenol? Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. 
Lol. <laughs> gotcha. What? Tylenol. Lol. <laughs> right, I need like a teaspoon. A teaspoon device. What? Uh, on my nightstand. I have a half teaspoon device. Oh, okay. I did one teaspoon, half teaspoon of that. We don't have enough to give maple a treat. I do have treats for maple. Just one, yeah. They're extra strength. Oh my god! <laughs> Where did that go? Because <laughs> I hit it with my hand. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a treat? Oh. <laughs> Chat, he, he saw. He saw. Which, which one's your favorite? Fast break? What time we got? Ooh, that's a good one. Fast break, take five, or regular? I like the other two more than I like the regular. Uh, but I'll take fast break. Fast break? Sure. Enjoy. Thanks for the thanks for the Tylenol. Yeah. You want to try it again? I already drank it, or <laughs> I, I already slurped it. <laughs> right between the lights? Oh, like right here? Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Toss up between regular and fast break. The take five is the one that has pretzel in it, right? Pretzels. My pretzels. All right, there's some of the seasoning. I need to. I need to. I decided I was gonna do a little bit of um, tomato tomato paste. A little bit of tomato paste with the rest of my seasonings. <laughs> my is my why why are you like this? My onion powder is like hard. I like to do the onion granules. Like they look like these instead of the powder. I don't know if you can tell the difference, there's like more texture. I think they do a lot better. All right, some chili powder. And then some smoked paprika. And the recipe calls for a heaping teaspoon. <laughs> Whatever that looks like. Technical terms. Heaping teaspoon of the good stuff. I do really like smoked paprika. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, check it out. That looks good. That really do be looking good. It smells so amazing. Yummy. Look at all that bond on the bottom of that. 
Was my gamer tag from back when I played World of Warcraft in like 2014 so it was just just my old just my old gamer tag I think if you type exclamation point name there is like a like a longer explanation from like I think back in 2015 right when I started streaming on like how I actually came up with my gamer tag but yeah cannibal queen was my was my OG gamer tag from from uh, world of world of Warcraft world of world world of Warcraft <laughs> I swear my brain works sometimes Sometimes, not all the time though. <laughs> there's some there's some really funny we didn't we didn't watch that video on during our anniversary stream, but we should have because I I feel like I've forgotten that story. I definitely know that it had something to do with my fear of zombies. Zombies have always been like my biggest fear. It's terrible. <laughs> Gotta scrape, scrape, scrape the bottom of this. No, oh, need more liquid. Pretty sure that's all it is. Listen, I'm afraid of zombies, so <laughs> I made my name Queen of the Zombies, but also I didn't want to look at the word zombie every day. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I tried to make my name Zombie Queen and it was taken on WoW. So we went with Cannibal Queen. <laughs> right? Honestly, it feels like it feels very validated. I feel I feel validated in like the worst way possible. <laughs> the absolute worst way possible now. I hate it. Turns out 90... Okay, I, I won't throw out a statistic, but turns out there are a lot more people who would hide a zombie bite than you'd think. <laughs> Yikes. These are huge chunks. Look at this giant tomato chunk. Oh, that's huge. That's a big one. <laughs> Yikes. Man, this looks so good. Let's murder everyone you see. Yeah, just move far, far away from other people, as far away as possible from other people. Don't trust anybody. <laughs> and stay strapped. <laughs> Just kidding. That last one was a joke.
<laughs> Sorry, some tea. Some the tea is hot. Damn, this looks good. How much rice, how much rice do we need? A cup? A cup of rice? Is this a cup? Probably. I, it hurts me that I didn't just rinse that. <laughs> Physically hurts. All right, and now I think all we have to do is cook it. Just wait patiently. That's the wrong lid. Wait patiently for the rice to be cooked. That's the lid. Yes, the one there. I feel like I've unlocked a new fear of a global pandemic. <laughs> new fear unlocked, global pandemic. Zombies, I can handle. <laughs> Facebook pseudoscience, <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Lol. Rice. My rice. Oh, she do. Good thing you're not on Facebook. It's true. It's like my, it's like my saving grace. I, but I, it's like, I don't know. So it can be really awkward. Like I met, I met a new friend yesterday and she was like, oh, add me on Facebook. We can, we can be friends. And I was like, like this girl, this girl, I think she was probably younger than I was. And I was like, What? <laughs> She's like, add me on Facebook. And I was like, no. <laughs> she was like, oh, you don't want to add me on Facebook? And I was like, no, I don't have Facebook. <laughs> and she was like, oh, Instagram? And I was like, owned by Facebook. <laughs> I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> and she was like, Oh, okay, yeah, that, that one works. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I can't, I can't do it. You can't make me. Please don't make me do it. I mean, I obviously do have an Instagram, but I don't have like a personal Instagram. I have, I just have Cannibal Queen. The Cannibal Queen. Make a Facebook or I unsub. All right, I guess, I guess it was nice. It was a good, we had a good run, but I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Worry about Jif peanut butter being recalled for salmonella. I was like, Mom, you don't like peanut butter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not my peanut butter. <laughs> like that's oh god. The one of the one of the really frustrating things about
bluff called. I asked the girl at a club for a Facebook. She denied me saying that's a little forward. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my God. You were just, you were, <laughs> you were just, <laughs> I read, I read a, a quippy little, little tweet <laughs> and it was like, this girl took my phone and sent herself a friend request on Facebook at a party and then the next morning denied my friend request. <laughs> I was like, ooh, <laughs> that instant regret. <laughs> we ever wake up in the morning and then just... <laughs> Just deny, just deny last night's uh, <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh in your face, but it's it is hilarious, and you can't you can't tell me it's not funny. Like in retrospect, unless it was like last night. Was it last night? But I feel like after, like after, after a little bit, those stories just become funny. You know, they might sting in the moment, but then they're just funny afterwards. T almost 10 years ago, <laughs> You have to be able to laugh at those things. Come on. Obviously that person was not was not your your soulmate. <laughs> she was not the one Omega. <laughs> she was not the one for you. Okay, so my neighbor has brought over some crumble cookies. And one of the crumble cookies was a snickerdoodle cookie with cream cheese frosting. And oh my lord, was it good. And now I have a new crumble obsession. So, I'm gonna be making those next. <laughs> she was giving off the vibes of being into you, talking up a storm with me. Maybe she was like, really feeling that like, stranger danger. Because I, I feel like 10 years ago, Facebook had so, like we put so much personal information on Facebook 10 years ago. You know, like your like all of your family and like where you live and like where you go to school and like just so like so like all your favorite things. Or the other thing is she could have very well been looking for a hookup but been in a relationship and didn't want didn't want you knowing that she was in a relationship. Or maybe she was just out to to flirt and uh you know feel good about herself and she had a you know someone someone at home <laughs> not not saying that that's good right <laughs> i'm a giga chat after all ah <laughs> no <laughs> yeah and it's like you had to put your real name you couldn't use an alias so i don't know it's like like stranger danger like i never added i never added people like people I didn't know on Facebook when I was younger. I mean, I, I never, never added like people I didn't know on Facebook. That was just that, that stranger danger. Perfect day for some delicious soup. Yes, it is cold and rainy outside. AOL AIM was a wild time. Those are the glory days. AOL, I am, AIM 
instant messenger aol instant messenger aim just so good with your brb like your your brb messages where you could like do song lyrics and be like thinking about him gonna go gonna go take a shower don't think about me naked like girl you're 16 no one should be thinking about you naked <laughs> It's gonna be girly. <laughs> Ooh. Or MySpace with your top eight, just really just stirring the pot. Some fucking drama. Mmm, so good. And your your profile song, song of the day. So good. So good. Has some that was some that was some good shit right there. <laughs> mm. Yeah. How are you doing, Signet? I never experienced that phase of life. Social media as a as a youngin. Over the top, just simple conversation nowadays to show off your life is better than everyone else's type of feel. Yeah, I hate that aspect of social media. It's like you're you sit there and compare your real life, which has ups and downs and bad days and good days, and you know you only do exciting interesting things every once in a while and you're comparing it to people's highlight reels that's what social media is highlight reels of somebody's life so if their social media looks really cool you know it's it's just the highlights man. it's just the highlights until three in the morning not regretting any bit of it and taking a nap during jazz band uh oh myspace designs for just a train wreck <laughs> Yeah, and you could like HTML, like you could you could like code your your uh, your MySpace page with like sparkly like sparkly letters and and uh, like different fonts and things. Paste in paste in pictures that you ripped off the internet. So I wasn't, I didn't have AIM at home. My parents, my parents had one computer and it sat in the kitchen and we could take turns using it in the kitchen with everyone around. So I never, never had AIM myself, but my best friend had AIM and she had a, a, like a computer in her bedroom and so we would sit up and we would chat with with boys and it was always so much fun gumbo yeah it's it it is kind of like a gumbo it's got the sausage and the peppers and the onions and rice and like cajun seasoning and then i'm gonna add some kidney beans whenever i whenever i have kidney beans i Think about eating them cold in a salad. And I just don't love them. I'm good, Royal. How are you? I have some gumbo filet. Is that what it's called? I think. Or at least I thought I did. Hmm. 
Maybe I, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm out. I thought I had a little container of it. The little... Oh, here it is. Which is sassafras. So I might add some of that. Is that what's on the menu? Chili? Um, no, it's like a it's like a gumbo. I knew I had I knew I had some. I knew it. I knew it. I just don't want my rice to stick to the bottom, so I'm going to keep stirring it. Mmm! Hi, Kiriorioriorb! Oh yeah, it's got, we've got peppers, onions, zucchini, lonely, that's me, I'm lonely, please love me, please hang out with me. But I do be looking pretty good. That's why you guys have to hang out with me because I'm lonely. Okay, thanks. How's it going, Boomy? Good morning, sunshine. So please love me. Please. Please, I beg. <laughs> Makes you hungry. That's my, that's my job. Hi, Dexter. Are you a good boy? You're pretty good? Yeah, you're pretty good, buddy. Water. and nutritious hi Yusuf how are you got a couple of drinks after work it is not Friday it's Friday junior it's baby Friday Ooh. you were just um you were just preparing for Friday you know you got to practice good good practice <laughs> I'm excellent, Yusuf. I slept 12 hours last night after I canceled the stream. Posted a fun uh, fan house yesterday. A, a good one. Hi, Kojak. Work tomorrow morning is going to be great. Well, just hydrate, drink lots of water, eat a good, eat a good dinner. Oh, she. She. Yeah, so... Uh, if you're here for fan house, here for it. Six out of nine school girl, for sure. It's true. <laughs> nice. Should I do a little fan house purchase tomorrow? Treat yourself. It is Friday after all. Treat yourself. <laughs> Your birthday's coming. Happy almost birthday. Happy almost birthday. What are you going to do to celebrate? Treat yourself. Really like treat yourself. Gonna have good, good food. Gonna have some drinks. Grand, grand old time. I don't want to stir it too much. 
but I also don't want the rice to stick to the bottom of the pan. The conundrum is real. <laughs> that conundrum. I should have streamed from the other, from the other uh, PC so we can play video games because dinner is going to be going to be done shortly. I mean, unless we wanted to bake cookies. I also bought stuff to make Rice Krispie treats. So there's that. End and restart. No. Ending and restarting just loses way too much momentum. You're allergic to booze? Oof, that's tough. I'm sorry. It's no fun. That's no fun. I had a girlfriend in college who was allergic to booze and drank anyways, and it was, like her face got so red and she would get so itchy, and then she would just feel like crap afterwards, and I'd be like, why? <laughs> Why do you drink? <laughs> she was she was young. What? You don't spend money on alcohol. You don't have to deal with hangovers. You can also DD and keep your friends safe. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. I feel like there's no way this race is done. Just itchy. Yeah, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to be itchy either. You have to be subbed to say the word dick. I feel amazing. I haven't drank since Saturday. Mm, not quite done yet. Taking a little detox. What's cut water? Going to a wedding. Oh, I love weddings. They're so much fun. <sighs> so fun. Empty calories, some mozzarella sticks, yeah. Too many calories, and right now, alcohol is so expensive. I was spending way too much money on wine. Weddings are our longest, like two hours. Yeah, weddings are super fun here. I don't, and they're not, <laughs> but it isn't about me. I get to hang out with my friends. I think I think they're fun. Not like the like ceremony part, that's boring, but the reception. The food, the drinks, the dancing. The good clothes. I love it. Canned drinks around 13%. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I haven't tried that. I just assume all booze things. It isn't just beer or wine has citrus in it. <laughs> I just assume at this point. Yeah, soju is super cheap, that's true. But everything's getting so expensive. So expensive right now. So I was like, you know, I can save money, I can save calories. 
just gonna not <laughs> for a little bit and then we're going on a road trip so I feel like I don't you know I don't want to I don't want to be drinking during like a like a road trip adventure I mean, obviously I would like never drink and drive but when you're sleeping in the car it's like you're always in the car <laughs> And it's like it's illegal to drink and then sit in your car if you have like if you have access to the keys. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'm charging up my GoPro right now. I really want to get a drone. <laughs> they have they have a DJI Mini 2 drone at Costco right now I think I saw that I'm so sad about the sriracha shortage I should go I know that this is probably bad but I should go buy Mavic mini drones are on sale but I should go I should go buy a bottle of sriracha where is I took a picture of the Costco here it is um the DJI Mini 2 drone bundle is $439 at Costco right now. And it comes with an extra battery, micro SD, and like a carrying case. By 37 bottles. <laughs> Get some bulk sriracha. Because <laughs> I have, this is all the sriracha I have left. But I also, I also don't want to, like, you know, be a part of the problem and go buy sriracha because there's a shortage, you know? Yeah, tons of places are banning drones, which is good, I feel like. I mean, they can definitely be annoying. The last the rest of the year, probably. Mm, check it out, it looks so good. It's steamy. I remember when the mini was 200. Wait, when? What I feel? I can't really tell. I feel like it's got a little crunch to it. When it first came out, and now it's more expensive? What? Let's add a little bit more water. I'm gonna cook a little bit longer. Didn't buy it like an idiot. Was that the, the original? Cause this is the two, this is the second version. Which apparently has like a better camera and longer battery life or something. Yeah, here it's like a, it's a state by state thing, whether you can drink in public or not.
Here in Oregon, you can't, but in Nevada, you can drink in public. Here in in Oregon, you can't even buy like hard liquor at the grocery stores. You can't buy you can't buy hard hard booze at the grocery stores. Only beer and wine. That's it. Just beer and wine. Yeah, I feel I feel like I. I've seen the drones cheaper at Costco. Yeah, here you can't you can't buy vodka at the convenience stores. <clears throat> if you can't freeze it, it ain't hard liquor. <laughs> I mean. That sounds probably about right, maybe? I don't know, because I feel like, I feel like I've even had like tequila in the freezer that got slightly slushy. It didn't freeze solid, but definitely got like slushy. All right, good night, Ansley, and sleep tight, don't the bed bugs, bye. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Tomorrow for date night, I'm gonna do teriyaki salmon bowls with avocado and edamines and um, teriyaki salmon pieces. Kept a bottle of tequila in the fridge, that's hilarious. My America friend, worry about drinking the streets. It's, yeah, <laughs> I remember. I remember getting bottles of soju and like drinking them on the train in Korea <laughs> on the way to like the nightclub. <laughs> yeah very different very different culture I can't believe it's still like it it's still light outside right now it's 8 8 p.m. it's still like broad daylight looks like how bizarre the weirdest, just the weirdest weather right now. The rain has stopped, it looks like. It's no longer pouring down rain. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know. The weirdest, the weirdest things ever. Just chilling. Bing chilling. I have not made any progress on my puzzle, and like I have people coming over this weekend, and I have my puzzle sitting on my dinner table, like my dining room table. <sighs> Oops. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Like, I feel like I should probably put it away. In the living room. <laughs> I guess that could work. <laughs> Just full of solutions. I'm just full of problems. 
vegan eggs. Yeah, just use tofu instead. If, like, if the vegan egg is made from tofu, just use tofu instead. It's much cheaper. Much cheaper. And if it tastes the same, what does it matter? Mm. All right. I think that's good. Just full of solutions. <laughs> I think the rice is cooked through. I'm going to add my beans. That's not all the beans. Some of the beans are stuck in the bottom. Also, that might be enough beans. And this seems like a lot of beans, a lot of red beans. Let that sit for a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that seems silly. <laughs> that just seems so silly. I'm a little sad. I ordered new prescription sunglasses I really really hope I like them because the last time I ordered sunglasses from this place I hated them they were the worst and so and I, I only had time to return one of them because I was going out of I was going to Hawaii and I really needed prescription sunglasses but I hated these sunglasses so much that I didn't even wear them which is stupid, so stupid, but I didn't even wear them because they just, they were like really small. Like they looked like children's sunglasses. Actually, I can show you, I have them. Hi, Dexter. He's snoozing. These are, these are them. They look like, like children's sunglasses. They're so small. Like these, these are my, these are my regular glasses, right? And these are, these are the sunglasses. I feel like sunglasses should be bigger. And then look at them on my face. Why are they so small? Also very dark. So anyways, I bought new ones and I hope that they look better. Cause I was really sad about these. But they look like they should be cute but they're definitely not, they definitely don't look good. I don't know, maybe I need to like get them like fit or something. Cause they're also, they, they like look down. No, they're just so small. Here, like really small. They look like children's, like children's sunglasses. So, yeah, don't like them. I don't like them. So I bought, I bought ones that will hopefully fit better. 
That really, that really did not, uh, <laughs> that didn't do it, huh? Oops. Let me grab one of these. They're like all stuck on the bottom. Two more beans. All right. Should I just add them? There's nothing wrong with children's glasses. No, there's nothing wrong with children's glasses for children. <laughs> um, adults shouldn't wear children's glasses. They're too small. That's, that's the, only, the only issue. It's just that I'm, I'm an adult, you know? So your son is is right. There is nothing wrong with children's glasses as long as you're a child. <laughs> That's adorable. And he's not wrong. All right. What do you think? We'll try a bite with um Sausage and a bean. Mmm. Mmm. That's really tasty. Ah! All right. It's time for dinner. I really wish I was streaming for you on the computer. I want to play video games. <laughs> I hate this. I need a little container. For my beans! My kidney beans. I wonder if people would like kidney beans more if they had a better name. <laughs> you know, if instead of kidney beans, they were like called sugar beans or something. I feel like if kidney beans were called sugar beans, they would be so much more popular. You know what would be really good? Cheese. Cheese. Some shredded cheese would be phenomenal with this. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then I have a huge bag of Costco shredded cheese. <laughs> so let's add some cheese and hope that it melts.
Can you have some? Of course, Chief. Of course. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Jeez, I need you to melt. Please melt. Should I blow a torch it? It's been a crazy day. I could microwave it. I feel like this one's melting. It's been a crazy day. The weather has been so bizarre. I feel like maybe I'll microwave it for 30 seconds and melt the cheese. It didn't really melt. That was only 15 seconds. Sunny day, and then it started to rain this afternoon. I, I guess it was never really sunny here today. It was sunny yesterday. It was rainy here today. There we go. Now it's... It's not a very attractive meal. No pictures. But it should be tasty. Hopefully when the roofers come to give you quotes, it's not raining. Oh no. Dinner. I hope so too. I feel like they shouldn't allow roofers to work in the rain. Like it seems dangerous. Oh, is that your garbage? Time to take the garbage out. Are you taking the garbage out? Yeah. Can you take the upstairs bathroom garbage? Por favor. Thanks. And then I have dinner for you when you're done. But <laughs> It's for the gutters so they can see the issues. Oh, well you have to get your whole roof replaced to fix the gutters? There's no one in my bathroom. Mm. Yeah, the cheese. The cheese is good. It was a very like hearty meal. I'm really glad I added the veggies. Mmm. You're getting your gutters replaced. That makes sense. Thank you. No problem. It is recycling week. Do we have any recycling in the garage? The garage? Sure. Sure. Dixie, what's going on, buddy? What's going on?
Recycling can down. You know, I don't think that I would have liked black beans in this that much. I'm not usually a huge fan of kidney beans. But I think that they're the perfect bean for the job here. They're very, like, it's a very wholesome bean. Because it's like, kind of large and very soft, very mild flavor. And I just, I feel like it is a perfect complement to this dish. My poor zucchini like fell apart. Look at this thing. My zucchinis fell apart. I almost feel like I should have done bigger pieces of zucchini. Literally the only thing that this dish had in it was onions, garlic, and sausage. And then tomatoes and rice. That seems bizarre. <laughs> there you go. Oh, what happened? Hmm. And I hope. And I hope. Oh, ow. Yeah. Like really far. Yeah, it's not. That feels so good. <laughs> I think it's okay now. Hmm. I left the window open. Awkward. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Good night, Urfus. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What another scoop. I like it. I like it a lot. More cheese. I feel like... What if we want to let the one bug bind through? No! No bugs. I spent, I spent like the first... 13 minutes of stream, evicting a fly. Like I feel like I want, I want to hook this up like chili, but it's definitely, it's not chili and it doesn't, doesn't have the same flavors as chili. but like some sour cream. We'll be busting on this.
Mm-hmm. Oh, I spilled. Because it's like tomatoey and spicy. The rice turned out good. I don't normally like one pot dishes with like the carb in the pot. Well, I guess that's not true. Well, no, it is. I usually prefer to do something like over rice or over pasta. instead of cooking the pasta or the rice in with the food. But this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's got all the right flavors and some pretty good textures too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I added some gumbo filet. That was good. That was a, that was a good choice. Oh. So are we making Rice Krispie Treats or not? Because I feel like the answer is yes. Rice Krispie Treats are so good. And we have Sierra coming tomorrow and she likes Rice Krispie Treats. I think the answer is, is yes. I think the answer is yes. Chocolate ones. Okay, I haven't had... I haven't had chocolate Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> I don't know how much butter I need for Rice Krispie Treats. Send them home with her and I'll eat them. No, Rice Krispie Treats are a crowd favorite in this house for sure <laughs> like I can eat an entire pan of Rice Krispie Treats by myself straight up I should have bought more than one bag of marshmallows. I have one bag of mini marshmallows. And then I do have a bag of large marshmallows. Should we? Should 
Should we do it? Let's do it. All right, let me look up. I feel like you don't really need a recipe for Rice Krispie treats. What s'mores these are. Rice Krispie treats. Three tablespoons butter. So this is like two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, Rice Krispie treats are fucking dangerous. There's a third. It's dangerous. Um, and do I... Want some more? You doing some crystal boys? Yeah, do you want more than that? Mm -hmm. Do you want more cheese? Yeah, I'm gonna do some rice krispies. Oh, Dixie wants some cheese. Pretty tasty, huh? Oh. <laughs> and it just really, it just really got you, didn't it? Hi, buddy. Taking out the garbage is, uh, you know, it's... Have the recipe you never know if you're including something needed or adding something bad I mean it's literally just butter marshmallows and crispy rice cereal I think I am gonna add some of these big ones Where's the chocolate? I don't I don't want chocolate ones. I feel like that should be enough. It's been a really long time since I've eaten a marshmallow. It doesn't really taste like much. It tastes like sugar. It has a weird texture. It's just like pure sugar. I can't say that I'm a huge fan. Okay, and then I do like to add a little bit of salt and vanilla extract to mine. Rice Krispie treats. Sugar. 
Yeah, it's not. It's not what I would call tasty. All right, and then I'm taking butter and I'm buttering. Buttering the pan so that they don't stick. I feel like Paula Dean over here with some butter. Some days just want pure sugar. There, I've, there's never been a time where I was like craving marshmallows. I mean, they're they're nice if you're camping, right? Because then you can roast them, and like roasted marshmallows are good. But. I guess toasted, to roasted, toasted, toasted marshmallows. Like campfire for s'mores, you know? Hi, Kasi, how are you? <laughs> for s'mores, that's it. I've never done big marshmallows. <laughs> uh, we made gumbo for dinner, and now we're doing Rice Krispie treats for dessert. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Yummy. Oh, Dexter's here. Dexter, you want to show everyone your haircut? Come here. Doesn't he look so cute? <gasps> Buddy, your haircut looks so good. Can you dance? Good job, buddy. Good boy. You look so young and slender. Can you lay down? Lay down. Roll over. Good boy and very agile. Look at you go. Look at look at how agile you are. You want to shake? Oh, so nice to see you, buddy. You look handsome. So very handsome, buddy. I know, he looks like a little teddy bear. You look great, Mr. Bean. You look so good. You look so good, buddy. Yeah. You look great. You got a good haircut. Yes, very good. Very good. Now I gotta wash my hands. Well, slimy. A little slimy. You're not slimy. You're fluffy. And very sweet and very cute and very good. That's true, yes. Good boy. And the rest of our mallows. It's a cute little teddy bear. Crispy rice cereal. Lemon poppy seed scones. Wait, today's your birthday, Cosi? <gasps> Happy birthday! Happy freaking birthday! Yum, lemon poppy seed scones. That sounds so good. Epic. I love it. Where did my recipe go? Six cups of cereal. Ho, 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 ho. Love baked goods. I freaking love baked goods. 
I, my neighbor has brought me some crumble cookies the other day and I tried the snickerdoodle for the first time. And the snickerdoodle with like a cream cheese frosting were so freaking good. All right, a little bit of vanilla. Might be my new obsession. Previously it was the sugar cookie with the sweet almond frosting. A little bit of salt. But, oh man, Dexter is ripping it up upstairs. Can you hear him thumping around? Can you hear that? He's like ripping through the hallway. You hear nothing. <laughs> Just sounds like I there's something thunderous happening upstairs. <laughs> it's thunderous. Oh, and I can hear him growling now. <sighs> and barking. absolutely just living his life he just showed off his haircut and you guys are you guys told him how cute he he looks so now he's feeling good he's like running around growling barking he got a new toy today that's what it is he um he killed he killed one of his toys so I threw it away and gave him a new one All right, Dexter, that's enough barking. <laughs> okay, sorry, Mom. Yeah, add another tablespoon of butter to this because I feel like it's getting sticky, like really sticky. <laughs> bork, bork. Yeah, he's a. Uh, He's a barky bean. He's a barky bean. Yeah. Minecraft session servers are down now. Oh man. Really, Dexter? Hi, what are you breaking? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Dexter, you are just the cutest little thing ever. I wanna add sprinkles. We've almost done it. Have some fun on the server. Rah. I kind of feel like I want to show you guys my Cozy Grove Island. Because we played, we played once when the game first came out on stream. And 
Then we, I've, I've played every day for months, but I haven't, haven't played on stream again. Okay, hopefully this is a good marshmallow to cereal ratio. I'm gonna turn the heat off. And we're gonna stir, baby. It always looks like way too much cereal. In the beginning. I keep like bumping you. This is the most stressful part about making Rice Krispie treats. take some muscle too but like gentle muscle because you don't want to like squish and break all the cereal right but you gotta like you like the smell of marshmallows they smell like vanilla like vanilla cream to me What a treat, a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> All right, are you ready? The moment. of truth of did I mix it all properly. Did I mix it? Did I do good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby. I did it. Ah. 
I did it. Oh. That was definitely expert level. I was like using my using my my stomach. <laughs> Ooh, Vampire Diaries, fun. I love that show. I just did a rewatch of it not that long ago. And then I watched the originals afterwards. <laughs> I love Rice Krispies. And then you take the wax paper How are you doing, Jed? When you push it down. Ta-da! Yay! Well, I'm glad you're doing better now. Glad you're doing better. Life can be tough sometimes, but it always gets better. It always get better. It won't always be good, but it's definitely worth it. I require not letting any of this go to waste. <laughs> Rice Krispie Treats are my favorite. They're so good. And they, they're not expensive. A bag of marshmallows is like a dollar. And then the off brand Rice Krispies are like two dollars. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I wanted to do. Sprinkles! On a cookie sheet. Oh, yeah. That was funny. My sister made some Rice Krispie treats the other day. And she didn't have, like, a deep dish pan like this. So she did, like, um, Rice Krispie blobs <laughs> on a cookie sheet. They were, I mean, they were good. They were, they were just as good, but it was funny. I've never even thought about that. But doing them on a cookie sheet, I feel like, you know, you could get a lot more servings and like smaller servings. Here we go. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Sprinkles make everything better. <laughs> Rice Krispie blobs would be rough in marketing. <laughs> like Rice Krispies? Hate sharp lines? Rice Krispie blobs. <laughs> I 
like Rice Krispies, hate squares. Oh boy, do we have a snack for you. Oh boy. You're gonna love it. Rice Krispie blobs. <laughs> And I just used the off-brand crispy rice cereal. I bought it on accident the first time. And realized that there was literally no difference except for like $4. Like these, these are $2 rice crispy, like rice crispy instead of crispy rice cereal with the little like snap crackle pop instead of wow pop and crack. These literally have crack in them. Um, are like five, four ninety nine or something, five dollars. Yeah, you gotta, you got a little, uh, gotta have a clothespin. <laughs> little chip clip. Little chip clip. So yeah, that's that's funny. Yeah, my, my big snacks, my snacks. <laughs> okay, can I eat them now or no? Forty cub cows to camp and try to make s'mores. Oh my god, that sounds uh, that sounds difficult. <laughs> sounds like a big mess. Oofka. Do sprinkles make things taste better? The truth is yes. Do I have to let it cool? I feel like I'm supposed to let it cool, but I just want to eat one. literally falling apart mm -hmm. I just need to make sure fuck these are good What I will say about Rice Krispies, Rice Krispie treats, is that I feel like they get better the longer they sit. Dexter. Stop licking the floor. I feel like they get better the longer they sit. Cause like the, like the marshmallows like re, like re solidify a little bit. And the cereal like soaks in the like butter. <laughs> and so the cereal gets a little softer. They get chewier. Yum. I love it. They're so good. <sighs> I'm a happy camper right now. Big happy. 
Yay. All right, well, we cooked dinner. We made dessert. We ate dessert. We ate dinner. I just gotta tidy up. And uh, hi, Jess, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, 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 my dear. Time for games. I wish I was streaming off of the other computer because I would go play games right now, honestly. <laughs> I actually, I actually would. What's going on with Cameron, Cameron's grandma? What? She just stopped by without asking? That's weird. What? What kind of loves was she looking for from a, ch a child that she didn't get? Like what? Excuse me, that seems so bizarre. I'm gonna call someone else and like complain about it. Like, oh, this child, this child didn't give me enough loves. Also, like, I'm sorry, but we don't force children to hug people anymore. Like, Body autonomy. They need to have control over these things. We don't force children to touch people any longer. Like, that's weird. You don't have to hug someone that you don't want to. You don't have to give someone kisses that you don't want to. Like, I'm sorry, but it is 2022 and we are teaching children body autonomy. That they are in control of who they choose to give loves to because that is a really important thing to teach children. <sighs> oh, well, don't worry. You are not a huge bitch by teaching your child that they have control over their body and who they touch and who touches them. Like that is such like a fundamental thing that children need to learn. I'm sorry. Sorry if that hurts your feelings, Grandma. We don't force children. We don't force children to give affection to people that they don't want to give affection to. Yeah, it just like enforces that feeling of, of discomfort and like feeling like your control is being taken away. Like, no, that's not how that works. Literally, no. <laughs> Literally, no. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I'm so sorry that you dealt with that. Don't worry. Your feelings are very valid. <laughs> I would be just as annoyed and frustrated and angry and upset. So you're not alone and your feelings are very valid. <sighs> It's just so, it's, it's so frustrating. Very frustrating. Wait, like some random old person or or Cameron's grandma was giving Margot dirty looks for walking around.
What? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Hi, Dexter. I'm not letting you outside right now. I know you just want to go look for, for snacks outside, but you can't. Nope. The sun finally went down. Nine o'clock. That's, I love it. I mean, I love how long the days are, but also I hate that it's rainy. <laughs> Weird. What? Mind your business. Just mind your business. I. <sighs> Some random ass lady with a blind chihuahua. Oh, poor chihuahua. Poor thing. What? Oh my gosh. Come here. Look at Dexter. Look at Dexter. Look at his haircut. Look at him. Dexter, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Look at how handsome you are. He's flapping. He's he's flapping. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You look so handsome. You look like a little puppy. I like your haircut. You got a little airplane ear. You got a little airplane ear? I swear. So the, this groomer was able to clean out Dexter's ears, which his previous groomer wasn't able to do that. You got your ears cleaned out? And I feel like he can hear better. It's the weirdest thing. You got clean ears now, huh, buddy? Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute. You're so handsome. I like your summer cut. You look all cool and clean and handsome. <laughs> I know he's got he's got a little airplane ear, one ear down, one ear up. Yeah. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? How good are you? You so good? Yeah. Yeah, Krim, he got he got shaved. He got shaved. He got a summer cut. I think he looks so much younger like this. Like he looks like a puppy again. You look like a little puppy dog. Are you a puppy? Are you an old man or are you a puppy? Are you an old man or are you a puppy? You want a treat? You want a treat? Can you dance? Good boy. Good job, buddy. Green wants to buy you a treat. <gasps> can you lay down? Lay down. Okay, can you come on this side, buddy? Can you come over here? Okay. Can you dance? <gasps> yeah, good job. Oh, lay down. Lay down. Roll over. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good enough for treats, Mo. Give me the treats. Can you shake? Sit. Shake. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. He's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost it. You're too smart. I tried to feed him a fake treat, and he's too smart. Can you sit? Good boy. He knew it was a fake tree. How did you know? Dixie, you want this one? He knows it's fake. He's looking for it. <laughs> How do you know? How are you so smart? You're so smart. You're a good boy. <sighs> it broke. It popped up in my chat. What are you looking for? Look at how long his neck is. <laughs> what are you looking for, buddy? Did you drop a did you drop a cookie? Huh? Did you drop a cookie on the floor? Where is it? Where's your cookie? Where's your cookie? Hmm? Huh? Did you drop it? Where is it? Huh? Where'd the cookie go? <laughs> Oh, where'd the cookie? Where'd it go? It's all gone. All gone. 
What? What? Where's your cookie? Where's your cookie? Huh? Where is it? <laughs> Lose the whole thing? Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> A Bigfoot? Dexter, are you Bigfoot? He's more like a more like a yeti. Are you a yeti? Yeah, look at his little his little ear. He is. He's just the happiest little dog. Are you a little yeti? Are you a little snowman? An abominable snowman? I don't I don't have any treats for you. I'm sorry, but oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thanks for visiting my kitchen. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for visiting. I don't have anything for you. I have nothing for you. Sorry, I have nothing for you. It's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. It's gonna look so cute curled up on your pillow tomorrow. All right, Zoe, Zoe got you a cookie. We got one more cookie from Zoe. So can you sit and shake? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you got it. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> Good boy, Dexter. Good boy. Doggo, oh, he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> Yo, you're very handsome, Mr. Bean. You're very handsome. You think this? You think this hand has a cookie? Maybe this hand has a cookie. No more cookies. I got no more cookies for you, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. But you're very handsome. Look at this little ear. <laughs> Look at it. Your ears just sticking straight up. Boing, 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 boing. <gasps> He's like, no, wait, where are my cookies? No, wait, where are my cookies? <laughs> I know his haircut looks so good. He looks like a little puppy. <gasps> Extra cleavage for me. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me this was the look she was giving Cameron's grandma all day. Like, bitch, what, bitch who are you? Excuse me? <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, adorable. Adorable. Enough talk. Give him the cookies. You want that? What's that? What is it? What? What do you want? What do you need? What? Use your words. Think we can get him to talk? Dexter, can you speak? Speak! Dexter, speak! Speak! Oh. Speak! 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 Woof! Woof! Here, yeah, that's close. Woof! <gasps> good boy! Good speak! Good speak! <laughs> Good job, buddy. You want to do it again? Speak. Speak. Woof. Woof. Speak. Woof. Speak. 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 Woof. Woof. Speak. Woof. Dexter, speak. Speak. Woof. He's trying all of his tricks. Dexter, speak.
Speak. Speak. <laughs> He's doing his best. Are you going to come back? Did you give up? <laughs> he laughed. He's like, I, I can't handle this. I can't, I can't do this shit anymore. All right, buddy. Well, thanks, Dexter. He got it once. Oh, he's on, he's on the other side now. What? <laughs> what, buddy, what? Dexter, your tail is wagging so hard that I'm afraid you're gonna, you're gonna sprain it. Oh, that's so cute. He's, he's mad, he's like, snorting and like sneezing at me. <laughs> I don't wanna hear it when I start speaking later. Well, they say one of the first steps in teaching your dog to not bark is to teaching them, is teaching them to bark on command. Which seems silly, right? Like. Teaching, like rewarding your dog for barking seems like a ridiculous thing if you're trying to get a dog to stop barking. But teaching, teaching them the command speak means that they then understand when to bark and they can learn when not to bark. Because it's not like Dexter runs around and like does his tricks all the time trying to get treats. The food? Oh, it, they're Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Yummy. You're a good boy. Very handsome. Very handsome. A little chubby. He's three pounds overweight. Little chubby, but still very good and very cute and very handsome. Hi, Juanfra. How are you? <laughs> He's back. He's back from out of town, from out of space. Where were you, buddy? Where were you, Mr. Bean? Huh? Where were you? Can't I can't see I can't see you. Ah. There you are, kind of. It's a little it's a little underbite. The smiley little bean. Yes, my little bean. The vet the vet said his teeth and gums look good as well. So, <laughs> he's due to get his teeth cleaned, but other than that, he's fine. And I was a little worried because he, he lost a tooth a couple months ago. 